Welcome back to another episode of the Big Rim Podcast. I'm your host, Big Rim, and I got a special guest in here with me, the one and only Skate 08. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, we're going to get into it, man. Where you from, dog? Let the people know where you from. Man, I'm from Atlanta, born and raised. Man. I'm a West Side baby. West Side baby. Been a little okay. bit of everywhere, but I'm a West Side baby for sure. Okay. Mm. So, West Side, the best side. Yeah. Right, if you, right. If you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what influenced your love for music? Like, what got you started in this? I, music is one of those things that, like, chose me. I didn't choose it. You know what I'm saying? I always had, like, a natural ability. Right. I just fell in love with it at a, a very, very, very young age. Like, I'm talking, like, eight, nine months old type shit. Like, my, everybody just could tell, like, they could just tell like it was it was in me and then the older I got just playing drums and doing everything with it all the way up until 17, 18. Right. You know what I'm saying? Growing, like I got in Howard because of that. Right. Did two years in, in, in D.C. Yeah. Another year in America. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And started producing. Just, just, you know, everything just kind of transpired. So it went from drums to producing like 14. Right. And then I started taking it serious like once I went to D.C. and could see like I could really change my life for real like this. Like, the music, the music world in terms of instrumentation, mm-hmm. it's not limited, but it's limited. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean by, like, limited? If I ask you who's the world's greatest drummer, I can't give you an answer. But if I ask you who's the world's greatest producer, you're going to give me some type of answer. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's like you chose... I want a little more from it. I want a little bit more. A little bit of recognition. Yeah. You want to at least get your flowers. Yeah. Some of these people, we, I guess, we could, somebody, if I told, if you ask who's the best horn player, somebody might say Louis Armstrong. Somebody might say. Louis Armstrong did that so long. You know what I'm saying? Recipes to legend. But like, it's newer. You know what I'm saying? It's newer. You know what I'm saying? Horn players. You know what I'm saying? We keep bringing up Dr. Dre. He been out for how many years? For sure. You know what I mean? Shit, yeah. now we got new goat. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Zay told him, Southside. Right. TM. Been doing their Mike thing. Mikey Keys. Um, Hit Boy. Right. Boy One Ricardo. Yeah. From from across the board, you know what I'm saying? Just to name a few type shit. I got to be in the next lineup. Yeah. I that's just that. how I feel. And I ain't doing this for fame and notoriety. Like, it's, that's just what come with this shit. Yeah. And I don't really be trying to live life as in like, oh, yeah, I'm famous. Like, I ain't. Yeah, I get. But that. you know, I I I need my, I need some. You need your just do when it's time. I'm leaving here with some. Man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm from around the way. I'm around the way. With I'm leaving with some. I got to. Right. So you brought up some instruments that you play. How many instruments do you know? No, I just play? I just play percussion and drum set. Like all, but all percussion. The only thing I never learned to really play, and that's because I didn't have no interest in it. Like reading pitch notes and shit. Was like the okay. xylophone and shit like that. I was like, I'm bro, I'm not doing that. Bro. Listen, like, bro, I used to play tuba in the band, bro. So oh yeah, so you know. So that's when I started gaining a different appreciation for music. Maybe not to the level of somebody like you, but it's yeah. just like I had a different. My ear turned different, bro. Mm-hmm. It went from like the shit that I hear on the radio. Now I'm on YouTube, like constantly looking up shit that are. Yeah, and you get to really see the difference between good music and okay music and bad music or music that just don't make sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like musical sense type shit. Yeah. You see now. But the, the common ear don't really know for real. Like sometimes they, you know what I'm saying? They may. Yeah. But most of the time, they might hear something that will be like, what the hell? Like that don't even make sense. Yeah. Like it's hard, but what? They'll be like, oh, this shit crazy. It, it's, it sounds like it's perfect. Nah, nah, nah. You'd be like, bro, you don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but Some of them folks. You hear- can't tell them nothing because that's what they like. So yeah. They, yeah, that's what they're hearing. They're ear picking up something different than what you hear. Like, the reason yep. you like the song that I may like could be totally different, bro. The way you're hearing it could be totally different. So, everybody uh knows that you're a producer. For sure. And we know a lot of producers. Mm-hmm. But could you, at least from the interviews that I've listened to and everything, mm-hmm. could you tell the people how producing is more than just making the beat? You gotta be a business too. Right. You gotta understand what's going on. You gotta network. Your net worth is your network. That shit right. always gonna be true. Yeah. You gotta talk to folks. You gotta build relationships. Right. Genuinely. 
forcing this shit, you, you know, sometimes you might have to force your hand, but in terms of like forcing a relationship, shit like that, it's, it come even if it happens, like if it works, it don't work for long. Right, because it's not organic. Mm-hmm. It's just a a, rela- a transaction type shit. Yeah. So what, what takes you from just making beats to becoming like, okay, like I'm a producer, like, if somebody were to recognize me, they recognize me as a producer. I get respect as somebody who can produce mu- music, not just make not just make the beat. Um, my answer to that, I say like versatility. Right. And when I say versatility, I also have to learn like versatility isn't only just like being able to do different genres. It's being able to do different tasks and apply different music or apply your skill to a right. different task for doing things like scoring. Like how Metro just scored the new uh Spider Verse movie and shit like that. Okay, yeah. Like, you gotta apply your skill to that. Yeah. Now, I ain't saying like you can't go in there and trap it out. Yeah. You yeah, feel yeah. me? You gotta find you gotta a midpoint. You gotta. Spider-Man. Feel yeah. me? Yeah. So that's producing for real. Like you, you, you touching all angles as well as touching all genres. Being able to just you know be versatile. Yeah. Okay. So like, uh, how often are you in the lab, so to speak? That's funny. As of lately. It's like I've been around, like studio wise. Right. Been around the homies cooking. But I've just been sometimes you just need a break, bro. Like, you know me, bro. I'm gonna work hard. Yeah. Like this nigga do not sleep, y'all. He do not. It's funny though, I be sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny thing. I do be sleep. As these niggas, but they be like think. these niggas be dead in the studio sometimes. But when it's time to get up though, yeah. Oh my god, I get up and do my thing. Like I I remember uh I just came back from LA out of session with Yo Dog. And they knew, like, it was the first session that first night. Tired of here. As soon as I get off the plane, I go to the spot, drop my shit off, go straight to the, uh, we all meet up and shit, and then we go straight to the studio. Man, I fell asleep, like, three hours in. I was asleep for, like, an hour. But I could still hear everything, so, like, I'm there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As soon as they called my name, and they're like, oh, yeah, tell him to get up. He finna do his thing, watch. I got up. Right. Did the beat, went back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Or woke up to a hard-ass little record, a little reference and shit like that, you know? Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I work hard, you know what I'm saying? So I just, sometimes you got to take a break. So I can't really say I'm cooking every day anymore. I say more so, like, I'm still around and shit every day. Yeah. Also, like, spreading the creativity and shit, too, yeah. you know? That goes so to another thing about that. you saying, like, what what's more of, like, being a producer? You know, you got to be a brand, too. Right. So if you do anything to stamp yourself outside of just the music, like, niggas know, like, oh, you bigger than just music. Like, yeah, you a producer, but you, a, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of it, though. You're not only a producer, you're a rapper. Okay. So, I, it's so or, funny. I don't even like hearing it. Like, or you like rapping. <laughs> I do like rapping. Okay, I let's do. put it like that. Because I think co- being called a rapper does come with some type of stigma for some people. Too much. And I just be yeah. like, I just like making music. Like That's what I look at music, it now. Like, right. I, I even tell myself, like, what can't he do? Like, I feel like there's nothing I really can't do. Like, I don't like engineering, but I can engineer if yeah. I need to, but I, on my mama, I'm not going to do it. Though. Having those, that type <laughs> of knowledge, it, though, But still, you though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a lot of shit I can do. So, I just feel like within the last year, mm-hmm. why not just, yeah. you know, fuck it. Yeah, your last <laughs> project was uh, that EP, the Floater EP. Yeah, Floater. So, like, what what came into creating that one? What was, oh. like, the, you know, what was the idea behind that one? I, I really like I really feel like every day I just be floating through life, bro. I be high fuck, so I ain't gonna lie, I just be high. But it, you know, I just be chilling, though. I be doing my thing. Even when I don't be high, though, I be chilling, I just be coasting type right. shit. I still do my thing, do what I need to do and everything, but I just be you know, laid back and shit like that. So even when I started rapping and shit, or I you know, I've been recording, I ain't gonna lie, I've been recording yeah. before, but I never was like, bro, I'm finna just record like back to back to back. Like as of now it's like now that I get feedback to the point where it's like, oh, nigga, we fucking with it. And I'm yeah. hearing it from, like, more than just, like, people who are, like, who fucking with my you. production and more than just people who are close. I'm hearing it from people I don't fucking know. Yeah. I'm that seeing people post it I've never met in my life right. that don't even follow me. Folks yeah. are sending, sending the shit to me, like, screenshots and shit, like, hey, shout out to post your shit, da da da. Yeah. A couple of my favorite rap homies, a couple of my favorite, like, rappers, you know what I'm saying, that I met. They're like, damn, I heard I, you did that that hard. You did this, you know what I'm saying? And going through yeah. projects and shit, labels too. Yeah. It be, it, yeah, I'd be like, wow. Yeah. Wow. The women, too. Know you know, yeah. they like my shit, too. Yeah, that, that's, that be, that's what matters. That kind of be the stamp on I appreciate the everybody, you know what I'm saying? People that don't know, the people that don't know you, it mean a lot. Because it's like, they didn't even have to tell you that shit. They yeah. don't even know you. 
the people that's close to you may feel like. But that's what be throwing me off, though. It be people I don't fucking know, bro. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> like, Never how did knew you, they existed until how'd they you How did you find up? this shit? <laughs> right. How'd you find me? Like, what you know was you what looking mean? up? Even when I be looking at the numbers and shit like that, like the numbers be smooth. I don't really be pushing it too, too hard. I, Cause yeah. like, I, don't, I don't, I don't know. I could tell you just drop it because you fucked with what you just yeah. created. I just wanted like, to share my creation, but now that I see what it is, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more behind the next couple. Yeah, right. I said couple. You know what I'm saying the next yeah. couple. Fuck it, why not? Yeah, why and not? And I'm still gonna right. do producer tapes and all that shit. I'm still doing producer tapes with the real and shit like that. Tony, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just couple. Other nigga, I'm still doing all that. I'm on, yeah. all, I'm on all that, bro. It's just what, what can I do? Why not? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So speak to the real one collaboration though. How did that come about? I met this nigga Jr. Probably two years ago. Not probably three years ago. Right. Met him through the homie face card. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga face card. You know what I'm saying? Just being in the studio, making beats and shit, just fucking around, just talking to him. And we was just. We just had a lot of like common interests and shit like that, a lot of common like business and shit like that. So we just been cool ever since. Right. We fuck with a nigga, support a nigga, shit like that. And we just even with the music shit, we got the same vision. Like, man, we got to put this shit out, bro. It's so much hard shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And we got to yeah. brand it too. Yeah. I learned a lot from the nigga. We learned a lot from each other. Yeah. So we just been cool, and now we just we. He yeah. definitely got a recognizable brand, bro. Yeah. He made sure it was recognizable, bro. For sure. And on top of that, bro, like I'm all about supporting like black businesses, period. Especially, right? Like, especially if the shit hard. You know what I mean? I know my shit finna be hard. You know? Right. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna Go ahead, show the folks, man. man. I know my yeah. shit finna be hard. Yeah. I know. You know? Yes, sir. We Speaking are. You know, that's what we all do. Shout you out feel on me? Syndicate, bro, for for the merch, sure, man. Syndicate. Shout for out real. to them too, man. We, you know, all yeah, of that shit, shit crazy, be fly. Bro. So. But rap wise, man, just floater. Just I yeah. feel like I just be floating. You know, even when I get on the beats, bro, I just be, you know. Yeah, don't let like, that's just how I don't talk. Don't let nothing take you too, you know, too close. I feel to like I rap how I talk too, though. Kind of like it's yeah. a little different, but it's it's still the same. Like I even told like that's a difference. Like that's a yeah. different part it's of you. It's a different side. I'm like, uh, I don't feel like that's it's any different. That's uh, you on the track, bro. It for ain't sure. no different. Nothing, bro. You know, I'm not really a person that like. Talk a lot. I used to be a, a super outgoing person, and I just the older I just became, like it just, you know, it's I'm not anti, but I just, I just be, you know, laid back, just chilling, just observing and shit like that. It's better, but than I, that I speak on the music though, for sure. I just feel like that's my, that's my real outlet. Right, I believe it, bro. So how do these? Uh, you had numerous placements on different projects and stuff like that. How do those type of things come about? Man, networking. Yeah. So like y'all production yeah. co-production yeah. that shit's key too a lot of people be scared or be acting like they too good to work with other producers and shit like it's not that deep bro yeah. now i can see if it's four five niggas on the beat like i ain't you know no, do y'all like thing that. but like god damn like that's a lot of niggas i ain't gonna lie yeah. that's a lot of niggas bro yeah oh five niggas on the beat yeah. i seen a, i seen a beat on um slime language too it had six niggas on it. i said god damn <laughs> Like it, like this took six people, right? But you know, at the same time, when you look back, Quincy Jones days, that that nigga didn't play everything by himself. No, he Hell orchestrated no. it. He wrote yeah. it. It took all those musicians to come in and make it happen. And right. I'm pretty sure he had some co-writers or some co like you know what I'm saying, uh, composers and shit. All of that. Yeah, come with the game. But it's just all about what it's just all about what you're producing though. That's yeah. that's what makes it like okay. Feel me? Yeah. So. Yeah, that producing, I mean, the writing shit, I don't know, like, how it became such a, like, a, a negative stigma around it, but the music that niggas is sampling, the niggas, the music that niggas' parents and grandparents were listening to was not always written by one person. Niggas had songs. Hardly ever. Whole, whole R&B songs is written by another person than the person singing it. Like, I, like Superstition Stevie Wonder, bro. That nigga played everything. And then he had background singers, but he did everything on that song. Yeah. That's rare. That's rare, bro. That's a rare breed of person. Like he he's a rare human being. Yeah. But you know, people one people one. who yeah. have disabilities have yeah. like higher normal like regular abilities. Yeah. Like they should in the like, senses that they in the senses that they can have they heighten because musical you know, ability is incredible. Right. Like what? <laughs> so but hey, yeah, man. Just just working to move, bro. Networking, yeah. moving around, talking to folks, building relationships. Same shit. Yeah. You know? Staying true to this shit too, like you know what I'm saying. I ain't never quit. Yeah. It be days where I be like, bro, fuck this shit, like no. Nah. But like, 
my love for music and my vision and myself. I keep myself yeah. motivated. I ain't gonna lie. Right. I used to let, do that. I just by That's any good. means. Right. Who else gonna do it? Not nobody else. You special. Not for you. That's, I've been telling. I've been telling myself like, nigga, you special. Like, right. Gotta keep even the homies, something. they be telling like, bro, you special. Show these folks, bro. Yeah. Like, start holding back. Cause they be like, bro, you too humble and shit like that. Like, I, I don't know. I was just raised like that. You know, not not to goddamn be extra arrogant. Of course, be confident. Yeah. But overdoing it, I just never been an overdoing it ass nigga. Like, I just. Yeah. You can't get to that point, bro. I ain't saying don't have fun and shit. I ain't saying don't have shit, show shit. It's just, Stay within yourself in this whole thing. That's I just got a different thing, vision. Right? I, I feel like that's what I just got a different vision. Right. So I'm just the work in progress of the vision so I can get to that end goal and yeah. so keep setting my goals. Goal, what does that end goal look like? Do you have it in mind or are you just kind of like, I'm still put, I'm still putting it together. Yeah, I'm still I got putting it together. Of it. Yeah, I'm still putting yeah. it together. Like the more... The more I start to experience shit and see shit, mm-hmm. the more I start putting more stuff together. Right. So I'm just like, damn, so maybe I do want this in life. That's what this is. This is cool. But that's what this is. I don't know if I really want that. I might experience it for a little while, but I am. You know, yeah. I don't know. Just, you know what I'm saying? It just depends. But I, I do say, like, man, you know, everybody want the cool shit, family, yeah. house, right. whips, right. kids be straight, wife be straight, Yeah. all that, family yeah, straight. Bro. That's the right vision to have. And it preserve. I, I want to preserve my family too. A lot of people, a lot of men just get into the, the thing about just being a, a provider. You know, my dad's like that. He's just a real provider. But like, yeah. you know, I grew up on tough love. With him. Like, I got my pops and shit. But like, yeah. being in terms of like communicate, like, you know what I'm saying? Just having like a regular relationship was kind of tough. It was tough with us because yeah. everything was just, everything was hustle, 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 hustle. You, hustle, mean, hustle, you know what I'm saying? You know so I get that from him and shit like that. But I, I say like, you know, on top of being a provider for my family, I want to be a preserver too. Yeah. So I'm doing everything I can right now and yeah. learning everything I can possible to teach as well as keep shit going and you know what I'm saying? Just be there all the time. So I can also be there for my family. So I ain't yeah. working so fucking hard all the time and I'm yeah, missing out time, on you know what I'm saying? Time to do kids, my family, my kids, kids all that. Know. And I ain't even just talking about my immediate family, I'm talking about my outside family too. Yeah. You know? Just you know, growing yeah. and learning, bro. That's what I say. So what would you how would you describe the progress from when you started out oh, to now? Bro, the teenage me would think I'm the coolest nigga in the world, bro. God, like Right. I've accomplished so much in the span of me doing music, period. Yeah. But especially in the production side. Yeah. In such a good pace. I'm not gonna say such a fast pace, but such a good pace. It's not like it's too late. It's not like it's happening. So far along, like it's happening at the right time. Like, right, I've been doing Perfect shit time. I couldn't even imagine. Bro, I've been places that I I thought I'd never even be at least this this fast yeah. or this early type shit. Like man, it's it's off my mind. It's it's amazing. Yeah, like, I'm blessed as hell, bro. I I thank God every day. I don't even I, I'm gonna be real. I don't even pray like that. Like my mom, she's spiritual. My dad, he believes. You know what I'm saying? Arab, yeah, we believe in everything. But my mom is the spiritual. Yeah, and like. She be, and my grandmother on my dad's side, she's spiritual too. So I be talking to her all the time and stuff. She be like, did you read your Bible? And I'm like, nah, I didn't, grandma. I don't be lying. Like, I can't yeah. lie. Like, nah, I didn't, grandma. But like, let's, I'll read it with you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or like, I'll read it to you and we talk about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like something. My mom be telling me to pray. I don't pray enough. I'm not going to lie. But I thank God every day, bro. Because I didn't been places that niggas wish they could be, bro. Like, they wish. Hell, the tea that you could picture it can only imagine. That nigga can only imagine doing this shit. That's a good that's a good way to be in life. That's like a good place to be. Like you just feel like your younger self will feel like damn, like I'm doing a good job. Especially to still be a work in progress. Yep. With everything I've already accomplished. Right. Also off of this I'm not gonna fully say a hundred percent my own connections and work ethic, but let them tell it it is my own. But I know you need help in this shit. You always need people. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's why the communication relationships come into play and shit like that. You need that. So, but if I didn't have the talent and the drive and, you know what I'm saying? If I didn't make motherfuckers believe in me, bro, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be here. You feel me? Me and my boy Kitty was talking about that earlier, bro. We was just like, you can have all the talent in the world, but if it ain't spread nowhere, bro, you ain't gonna get nothing. So you got to have, if you got that talent, bro, there's no reason you shouldn't be connected with people so y'all can all level up. 
eventually the, all the people that with the real talent gonna make it to the top. Yeah. And if you stuck somewhere, bro, you just know you ain't. You either ain't that talented or you just ain't make no connection. And another thing too, bro, a lot of niggas don't even realize like, bro, you gotta wait your turn. Yeah. Stepping on somebody's toes don't always work out. Back door no. folks don't never work out for real. Like in the long run, like you might have got it now, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Waiting your there's nothing wrong with waiting your turn. Nothing wrong with it at all. As long as you making progress and motherfuckers and your brand is building it, you know what I'm saying? You making a name for yourself. Yeah. You alright. You gonna be alright. There's a lane for everything. You might not be the biggest. Yeah. But you might be a big person in that lane that you in or the lane that you created. You know what I'm saying? This motherfuckers is not extra famous as rich as fuck off their music. Yeah. Exactly. Not even the biggest artist, bro. Like they they might not even sell out a show. Yeah, bro. Rich as hell. Like this shit different now. The yeah. game changing, like niggas gotta got down, tap in and learn some shit. I ain't saying I know everything, but niggas be got down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Paying attention, you got to. You Stay got your to, toes right. of this shit. You can't be if not, you gonna mud. get gut. Can't get stuck in the mud, bro. The game did change. Though. You gotta learn, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go through shit. You don't but have it's to like... be you don't have to be like well known to be successful, to be deemed as successful in your field. Right. Bro, you just need to make money and have genuine support, bro. It's like a genuine fan base, bro. You can't do nothing with it. I heard uh, Slim Thug said a million dollars worth of game. He was like, you don't even know your true worth as an artist until you're just independent. Because it's like, nigga, all that shit coming to you. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro, it's all on you to get to the point that you want to get to. You can't, like, kind of. It ain't nobody backing you like a label would. You know who has an amazing career to me? Who? Currency. Yeah, bro. He dropped he so much there. damn music, I can't keep up. I ain't gonna lie, like bro, I, I can't keep like up with everybody. Months. But it worked, bro. Like, like he ain't have to change shit. He ain't have to do nothing but be himself, bro. I, right. Like his career is is, is perfect to yeah. me. Perfect currency. I would probably say, man, I don't know, man. Independent artists. Probably whatever, whatever, whatever. Lo- no limit did in a time. Oh, Master and P a different like, breed too. That nigga we, different too. He know we ain't even grow up in that time like that. But I had to go back and listen. You gotta go tap in. Just, I had sample number ones. Uh, like, I had sample uh, number one. None of my shit. Oh no, that's yeah. Birdman in there. No, yeah, that's number. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's Birdman. Birdman. I'm tripping, but still no, like no that. That, hard, that. You know though. what I'm saying? No limit was hard though, man. Shout they Master did, P, and man. they did it independent, and they like the same way you talked about currency dropped so much music. From what I hear, bro, they was dropping. What you can see on their Apple Music, bro, it's like music, like all the time. All the artists, they like, I think they said they, they had like, Snoop at one point. Like, that's bro, amazing. Snoop Dogg, bro. I, like, oh, big many Snoop fresh Dogg. Beats. Yeah, bro. Come on, man. No Limit was crazy, dog. Sure. So, like, when it comes to um, collaborating with other producers, like you said, you shouldn't be afraid to just or want to avoid that type of shit. So, how does that come about? Like, how do y'all There's a, how do y'all come up with a vision a way to put together something that all looks like one vision? Like you just made it deep. Yeah, <laughs> you bro. just made that shit deep. Yeah, bro. Go like, ahead, get like that if game I say folks. like the loop game, you know what I'm saying? Like getting in, sending loops or, or or finding somebody who's gonna fuck with your loops for real. Right. That shit is a little oversaturated right now, I ain't gonna lie, because I have to keep making email after email after email, even though I'm buying storage. Like, that shit don't fucking yeah. work or something like that. I don't know what's going on. Like, I pay the extra. I pay like a dollar, bro. Like, that shit annoying yeah. as hell. Shit don't work. So, that, uh, they gotta chill out with that shit, though. I ain't gonna care. Like, that shit be a lot. But, send and lose via email or just be in there. Yeah. Sometimes you run into a nigga like, hey, hey let me airdrop you some loops. Yeah. Boom. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Be in the studio with a nigga, or like if somebody in the studio, like damn, anybody got any loops? Or looking around, like I need some loops. Or, you, you just never know. Yeah. Or just build a relationship with the producer. Yeah. Or get your get your records. I ain't even gonna just say placements. Like if you get records, like you know, buzzing artists in your city and shit like that. Producers yeah. are gonna gravitate to that. They gonna see who the hell you is. They gonna tap in. That's how you motherfuckers start knowing you, and you don't even know they know you. Yeah. They always watching. Yeah. Somebody always looking. Bro. Always watching. He ain't got fake pages, all types of shit. They always watching, bro. <laughs> yeah. Or they looking through somebody else's page. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's all they always watching. That's what I learned. So you just gotta be. Hey. Yeah. Be so like, we're gonna we gonna I'm gonna ask you something. It's gonna uh make you have to think a little bit. 
top five people, top five artists. Yeah, though. I hate this question. Work with. I hate questions like this. Come on. You because gotta give me one. I hate questions like this because I I grew up on so much different music. It's right. so hard. And there's so yeah. many sub genres to the genres. It's like, fuck, what do I choose? <laughs> so, uh, ask me again. My bad. Bro. Top five artists, dead or alive, you do some work with. Whether it's you got to lay up first, whether you might be producing with them. Maybe shit. Music, can I include musicians too? All of them. Anybody. I'm talking about artists, producers, anybody in the music. Because you versatile like that. Your list got to be versatile like that. It's so hard. Just like you said, it's a hard question because you listen to so much music. Your music <laughs> tastes versatile, brother. Man. My nigga, you got to get Dead it. or alive. Okay, I'm going to go alive with this one. I'm choosing right. five, right? Yeah, just five. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. I want to do some Earth, Wind, and Fire for sure. That's hard. Amazing. That's hard, bro. Man. Matter of fact, I think Goody Mob opened up. No, they had Earth, Wind, and Fire open up for them. What? Goody Mob, bro. What was that? Bro. I heard that shit. In. I think it was like on 85 South interview. They had them niggas open up for them, bro. That's gangster. That's hard, bro. That's hard. Bro. You go into a video mob concert, open about Earth, Wind, and Fire, nigga. What? <laughs> now you got everybody at your shit. Bro, everybody got to listen to it now. Earth, Wind, and Fire. This one. Uh, Anita Baker. Anita Baker. Auntie Anita. I, whenever I meet her, I want to give her a big hug, bro. Yeah, she, she did perform her a couple her. months ago, bro. I love it. Yeah, I missed it. I was like, fuck. Missed that shit. Um, yeah. This is too hard. Gotta, gotta put, got gotta put Michael Jackson in there. Yeah, I knew you was gonna gotta say that. Put Michael gotta, Jackson. I hope you was saying that. Gotta put Michael Jackson in there. Michael Jackson like that, bro. I got to. Michael um, Jackson like that. Damn. You only got two more, bro. That's hard, though. Cause I gotta choose somebody from like way back, like like. Who you gonna choose, bro? You can choose who you want to. Um, ain't nobody gonna feel because I'm off. trying to figure out which one. Like they, they, now, this person is deceased. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to go with though. Like which version of them? Nah, which which musician? Cause they're they're yeah, all so amazing, so hard to pick. Like, who you finna pick, bro? Damn. All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm I'm go pianist. I'm gonna go Thelonious Monk. Thelonious Monk. Mm -hmm. What he done created? Jazz pianist. Um, jazz pianist. Okay. He got a lot of just. He, he it's a lot of jazz standards he got too. So like when you in the jazz world and shit like, cause again I played drum set and shit like that. So I had to learn all that shit. Like, I played everything, bro. Like, right. I did a tour my senior year of high school like in the Dominican Republic. I missed like three four months of school. Yeah. Like, yeah. You was part of like a band or like a. Yeah, I was playing with a band. I was the youngest nigga. Well, right. all of us were young as hell. I ain't gonna lie. We was all young as hell. But right. we was just on a tour like with a couple different bands and shit. So we went over there. It's hard. It was lit. It's it hard. It was lit. Man. But, um, so yeah, because I played everything. So it was like, damn. Thelonious Monk is a jazz standard that I had to learn. Like, he has probably like, out of the 99 songs, he probably got like five or six. Maybe, maybe in between like five to 10. Right. Standards. You know what I'm saying? A lot of like Duke Ellington and. Yeah. Uh, 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 Johnny Co John Coltrane, you know th yeah. those type of guys. He's in that list type shit. So okay. hey, but he he's just a different type of pianist. His chorus structure is different. Like he just it's just weird, but it's so cool. Like it's cool as fuck. His yeah. ballads be crazy. Like so, I'd be like, I still be going back to sample a lot of that shit. Like I'll be going days where I just go listen to that shit. I'd be high hell. Like I I'm you one of the people. I could, out of that. I could listen to jazz depending on who it is. Right. I don't mind it. It'd be okay. cool sometimes. You can't listen to music that like make you want to kill everybody every day. <laughs> yeah, you no. can't do that. You can't listen to that Even shit. Even the players shit, like you, the players shit get old sometimes. You're like, all right, bro. Yeah. Like, I know what you mean, man. So, and last but not least, I got to put the nigga Pharrell in there, man. Got to put yeah, Pharrell, Pharrell in there. I have to. But he'll, have probably, to. he'll probably introduce you to a beat you ain't never heard, bro. Like, you ain't I'll never heard. I'll probably introduce him to some shit he ain't never heard. That yeah. Was, that what I'm on. Yeah. But facts, That's bro. Hard. Facts, <laughs> that's bro. hard. I, like, I made some nah, shit. That's the, way, that's the way to think, though. I made some like, shit. I'm trying to get Tia Corinne on it, but like it's one of them. Right. Funk, yeah, like it, it's shit fun as hell. Like I want Tia Corinne to do it. Okay. So, so, so. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and say it. Uh, my we gonna, we gonna tag. I'm saying it right now. We're gonna tag. 
Yeah. Man. Even if I gotta help you write it. I, I, <laughs> I see the vision. Alright, yeah, you're gonna help her out. So like what's next for you? Next, next, next. Um, so today I found out we doing more uh well we're working on the next room tape, of course. Mm-hmm. Um and that lineup gonna be crazy. We got some crazy shit on that. Like I man. Right. This shit getting bigger and bigger, I'm telling you, but um that uh type of scuffle, uh, EP was scuffle and shit like that. I got one on his next project too, man. Shout out to right. Scuffle. That's one like independent young nigga, man. Hard as fuck. Shout out Scuffle, man. Hard. Yeah. Working with Tony. You yeah. know, Tony just been locked in and shit like that. Just you know what I'm saying? Shit be cool, bro. We just be chilling and making music, talking about shit. It'd be cool. Yeah. Um myself. I don't. I, I know. I'm, I'm. I don't know because I got so much shit I could do. I don't know what to do next though. But right. I do know these is coming. Yeah, you know what I'm saying the one on one fit. This is like this is one. Y'all, y'all ain't even gonna have this. Yeah. This is limited mine. edition, bro. This is mine. It's, it's only gonna edition, be a, a limited amount, and I'm only gonna make like five extras, like made the order type shit. Skate right. right patch fit is like the one on one. Like I drew this patch yep. type shit. Show them the patch again in the that back. camera right there, man. Drew that yep. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's hard, bro. Yeah. 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 Get so, that in there. Get that in there. Skateboard's on the back, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We're going to put it in that camera, too, man. Fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is mine. Yeah. You know, there's some more back here. Like, you know? Y'all yeah. got to wait. Just, what made you want to create that, though? I always love hats. Yeah. And, you know, like, I like the patches and shit like that. Fitties and shit like that. Man. Like even when the snapbacks came in style, nigga had snapback T yeah. so I ain't gonna lie, nigga ain't nigga wasn't paying no two hundred dollars for no you know what I'm saying? We weren't yeah. stupid. We can go yeah. get the same hat on Amazon for fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, yeah. and y'all just went and stitched teeth on the side and sold it for two hundred. <laughs> nigga ain't stupid, bro. So I ain't buy no teeth, but that's what I'm saying though. That era yeah. though, nigga had all them hats too, different yeah. teams and all that shit. I was just like, I just fuck with it. Always like hats. Yeah. So the order I got and I just started getting into the, the patches and the fitties and shit. I was like, damn, I feel like I can make a patch. So yeah. I just started and I always was like doing a little like graffiti small shit and everything. I might not have not have been like the greatest graffiti artist, but I could put together some shit. So right. I did and this shit fly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit hard. It looked like something hard, different. Bro. So it's your own. You can tell somebody else somebody made it on their own, bro. You ain't have mm-hmm. to go to nobody. Every time I go to get something made, nigga, like, bro, let me buy one, bro. When the hell you gotta wait, my brother. <laughs> Take my Instagram down, you gotta wait. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when they drop, come make. Hey, come be first, ready. Sir, be sir. ready. Be ready. Because I'm never gonna drop them again. I'm not dropping this one again. Yeah. You can't have too much salt going around the city, man. Your hat. Just have enough. Then so I got this one it, already. I got the next three already, for real. Yeah. I just gotta go. I'm gonna go make it. Go but I just, you know, I just love hats. I, I like being fly and shit like that. I might not be like a, uh, like an extra fashion nigga and shit. Oh, no, I, I like streetwear and not shit. A fashion nigga. Ain't nothing wrong with it though. Like shit be cool. I like little pieces and little. You know what I'm saying? Be cool. I might, I might do a dabble every now and I might see something I might like. Yeah. But I just can't get away from sneakers, white tees, denim, fitted, such as jackets and shit. Small. I, I don't know. Just getting clean. That's just, just how I feel. Right. This is my thing, I can't I stop buying Air Force to save my life, bro. I ain't buying I don't be buying nothing else. Dunk forces, new balance. I'll be wearing new balance too. Yeah, them shit them new shit's hard, I will say. Comfortable as hell, make you wanna wear them. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> everyday shoes. Motherfuckers is walking shoes. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers is walking shoes. And if you you fly free, you can stop them. <laughs> right. That's some cozy shit. That's what I be I be on the cozy shit. I love sweatsuits and shit like that. So I'm yeah. Really just gonna get into everything for real. Right, bro. I've been needing sweatsuits. I used to, I buy Me too. my sweatsuits from uh I buy my sweatsuits from a black owned business, shooters etiquette, man. I always got on yeah. black owned business on guts. Yeah. Like my whole Nowadays. fit, black owned shirt, pant, abstract clothing, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Wale. Right. You know what I'm saying? My boy from the east. Yeah. Got his clothing line going crazy, man. Like and the real one going crazy. My fit is going finna go crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna come yeah, out most shit. Find me the apartment with with uh, Swisher and all them. Like they shit hard. Uh, uh, right. This is, uh, uh, general public. They shit. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. a lot of hard ass clothing lines just around and shit. Niggas got to tap in. That's mm-hmm. it. Yes, sir. So go ahead and tell the folks your Instagram where they can find you, where they can find your music, all of that. You can find me on everything. Skate away. S K A O eight, not 
S K eight oh eight, like pronunciation wise, not skate eight oh eight. Skate oh eight oh eight is one word. Put it all and together. Everybody just call me skates for short if you don't want to say the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> you don't want to fuck it up. Instagram at underscore skate oh eight SK eight oh eight and Twitter is SK eight oh eight underscore. Yes, sir. And then yes, music, sir. you can look up skate oh eight, everything now, all platforms. My shit just there. Yes, sir. It's there. That's all yeah. I can say is there. More <laughs> more on the way. This is it. Yeah. Yeah, so I appreciate you coming on with me, my brother. <coughs> man, I appreciate y'all having man, me, man. Always so, a pleasure, bro. Y'all been showing love since day one, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, bro. man. I met you. I met you at that uh, that like talent show a couple years at ago. At West through Georgia, my, through my homegirl girl Sydney, bro. Shout so, out to Sydney, man. That's, yeah, that's, 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 she's doing her fucking thing. Man. I'm proud yeah. of her, bro. Proud Sydney and Latifah, bro. Mm, Latifah Shout too. Out to Shout out to yeah. I was just seeing Latifah the other day. Proud of her right. too, man. Shout yeah. out to them. Proud of her for sure, man. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Proud of all y'all, man. You too, man. Press, press the little cheer button for yourself it, too, man. Press we that shit for you too, man. Yeah. We're for all of that right there. For sure. So, yeah, that's another episode of the Big Run Podcast. My guy Skato Wait was here with me. Shout out Kenny on the cameras, man. And we out, bro. <laughs>